Hi, and welcome to my channel. My name is Anna, and I help uh, children, teenagers, anyone that has anxiety. Now, if you've not yet subscribed, click that subscribe button. And if you like this video, don't forget to put your thumbs up. Uh, have you ever asked yourself, what does that mean to be anxious and to be scared? And I see a lot of children, especially in primary school. And in fact, this video is for you. For you, doc, doc. Exactly, just for you. Are you 9, 10, 11 or 12 years old and you're really, really scared of something and you don't really know why you're scared? You know, you go to school and you like going to school and you might have friends and... But then when it... When people are around you and you've got kind of to communicate and speak that's where it all starts. Your voice goes and you kind of, maybe your heart beats really fast and you know that you want to do it, but somehow you can't do it. Now it's summer, now look at the sun. Can you see the sun on my face? And the schools are almost finished. In fact, here in Scotland, where I live, um, the last day of school will be on Friday. Well, I'm sure that you're excited about your summer holidays, what you're going to be doing um, in the summer. But what's going to happen when you go back to school? Do you know your teacher already? Do you, have you met your new teacher? And what are you thinking? Well, do you know what I say to the kids that have fun with me because that's really what I do. I Did I say that I help um, children that they are scared? Yeah, well, how do I help them? I play. We have a lot of fun. I, I think I'm a little bit like Mary Poppins. Do you know Mary Poppins? And I have a bag um, full of really, really fun activities. Um, we play games, we jump, and we just have a lot of fun because anxiety doesn't like to have fun. And we want to be stronger than anxiety. Um, we don't want that little thing called the amygdala in our mind um, to scare us. And in fact, pop over to my channel and watch that video where I talk about fear. That will explain to you. And you know, it's okay to be scared. I'm scared too. In fact, I don't like to go up a ladder. What have I said it? But I'm working on it. I am going up a ladder bit by bit. So, I am not at the top yet. And that's my magic word. I use the word yet. So, I'm here to share something. Now, you're going to start a new school, right? Or you're going to start a new class and you've got a new teacher. But you know what really, really helps? It helps you writing a little note or a little letter to your teacher. Now, you're going to wonder why. Well, Adults like to know what's going on. Adults, oh everyone else, they can't read your mind. So I thought, maybe we can think of something. Well, you can, um, you know, what would I write, right? I would say, hi, my name is Anna. It's always good to start with your name. What do I like, to, what do I like doing? <laughs> well, I love sport. Oh yes, I do. So I like running, I love going to the beach, oh yes, I love the beach. I love my cat called Luna. And what else do I like? I like making videos. 
pop, pop. Can you see all my videos around? Yeah. And I love to play. So it's really nice that the teacher kind of start to help you, um, starts to, sorry, to create a picture of who you are. But then uh, you can say something about um, yourself that can help you during the year. And you can say, do you know, um, I happen to be a little anxious. And that means that I get quite nervous. And yeah, I guess that sometimes my words don't come out in class um, because it makes me, because I'm uncomfortable and my words get stuck. Because did I tell you? It's your words that get stuck, not you. Anyway, you want to tell your teacher, um, what can you do? Can you talk to your friends? Or can you whisper to the teacher? Um, and you can say, well, I am taking little steps. Are you taking little steps? Um, I can answer yes and no because it's always good to let the teacher know what you can do. That thumbs up. So yeah, I can nod and shake my head. Oh, I can point to things that I like and I can speak through a friend. So um, yeah, so you can say, please don't think I am stubborn. Uh, or I, I don't want to speak to you, but I just find it hard. So what else can we do? What do we not want to happen? So you can say, well, there are a few things that you can help me with uh, when I'm in class. So for example, don't ask me questions in front of everyone. That makes me uncomfortable. Can you imagine answering in front of everyone? Um, please speak to me um, and if you've got something to ask me you can ask me at the end of the class maybe um, if I nod and shake my head or I point be happy with with that answer don't ask me a lot of questions but keep talking to me that's really helpful and See if children, like new children, come in and they notice that I am anxious or maybe on that day I, I, my words are really stuck. Well, if they say, oh, why um, is, that, that, is that child not speaking? Well, you can say, well, no. That child, saying your name, can speak. They can speak a lot at home. But at the moment, they find it quite difficult to do it in class. So that gives me time. Instead of everyone wondering why, you know, you're looking so anxious or scared or your words are not coming out. So thank you very much for reading this letter and, you know, really understand that I'm taking little steps and I'm going to try to be brave because you are going to try to be brave, right? And maybe um, I'm going to be thinking about um, what steps to take. How does that sound? And do you know what? If you need a hand, do you know where I am? Write to me. I have a lot of children that to begin with, they're really, really scared and they go, oh no. Yet another person, but actually it's just a lot of fun. A lot of fun trying to find out what this is all about. And especially try not to have your anxiety, which is in the amygdala, to get the best of you. And it's only about little steps. So I wonder, do you have any questions? Is there anything that you would like to ask me? you can write it down below. And if you like this um, video, put your thumbs up or maybe put your thumbs down, subscribe. And if you have any requests, well, just ask and I'll make a video just for you. 
I'll see you on my next video. Bye-bye just now. And 